Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, let's dive into a common challenge that many of us encounter when working with databases, handling tables without a primary key. Now for those unfamiliar, a primary key is a unique identifier for each record in a table. But what if we don't have one? That's where things can get a little tricky. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you three different ways how you can handle this situation. So I have a sample data set here, a very small data set, publication table and the sales table. In my publication table, I have fields like ISBN, edition, title, author, etc. And in my sales table, I have ISBN, edition and sales volume. And in both of these tables, I don't have a primary key. The ISBN column here has duplicate values as you can see here, the ending with 227, these two are duplicates, these two are duplicates. My addition column also has duplicates, which means that in both of these tables, I do not have any unique values to create the relationship. What happens when I create a relationship between ISBN from publication and ISBN from the sales table? It means that I am creating a many to many relationship and this cardinality is not going to work. So let us see how we can handle this. Let's go back to the table view. My requirement here is that against the title and the edition, I should be able to populate the sales volume that I have in my sales table. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you three different ways how you can handle this situation based on the size of your data set, based on the complexity of your data model. You can choose either of them. Let's take a look at the first option. Let's head to the Power Query Editor. Here, I'm going to show you how you can merge both of these tables using the composite key within Power Query and then bring in the sales volume into our publication table. So let's begin. I'm going to click on Merge Queries here. So this will bring me a dialog box. I'm going to have my publication selected in my first table here. In my second table here, I'm going to choose the sales table, which is where I need to bring in the sales amount from. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to choose ISBN from here and ISBN from here. And just selecting ISBN is not going to help me in this case like we saw earlier because we had many to many relationship. We have multiple values of ISBN in both of these tables. So we will also have to select the addition column in both of these tables. Now when you merge the tables, you can do that using the composite key, which means that you can select another column from both of these tables to create that relationship between these tables and merge them together. So I'm going to select ISBN as well as addition. And then you can see that I'm joining here using the left outer join, which means that I need to bring in all the records from my publication table, irrespective whether I have any sales amount or the sales volume coming in from the sales table or not. So I'm happy with this join here. And it also tells me that the selection matches six of six rows from the first table. And now when I click on OK, I have now merged the table. I can now simply click on this icon over here and select the sales volume and click on OK. And now you can see that I have now brought in the sales volume from my sales table into my publication table. I can simply click on close and apply. I can now go back to my report view and create the title and edition and bring in the sales amount as well. If I change this to a table, you will see that. Let me change, let me bring this down and also change the sum of edition here to don't summarize. And now you can see that we have title, we have edition and we have the sales volume coming in from one single table. Now this was one of the method of how you can bring in the sales volume into our publication table. In the second option, I'm going to show you how to create a composite key in both the tables, which is publication and sales, and then create a relationship using this composite key. So let us see how we can do that. Let's click on add column here. I'm going to add a custom column. So what we will do here is we will combine the ISBN column and the edition column to create a composite key, which basically is a unique value for that particular table to create relationship between the publication table and the sales table. So let us see how we can do that. Let's give it a column name. I'm going to call this as key 
and then say I cannot directly add an ISBN here concatenate that with addition and click on OK because this is going to return an error because it says that we cannot apply operator ampersand to types text and number we will not be able to combine text and number together so we will have to use a little workaround in here so my ISBN here is already a text value you can see that we have an hyphen in here the addition column here however is a number column is a whole number so we will have to convert the whole number into a text format to do so all I have to do is text dot from open brackets here close bracket I'm going to copy this I'll tell you why and then click on OK and and now you can see that we've created a new column which is a combination of ISBN and the addition combined into one. But keep in mind when you are creating composite keys especially with such large 14 digit numbers in here it is going to take in more space in your database especially when you are working with millions of rows. So I'm going to show you an alternative way how you can save that space as well. But in this case we're talking about creating a composite key to create that relationship. So now that I have created a composite key in my publication table I will have to repeat the process in my sales table as well. So let's click on customer custom column and let's call this as key as well and I told you that I have copied that particular formula I'm going to just simply paste in here so that I didn't have to repeat that and now when I click on OK I now have a key created in my sales table as well I have the key created in my publication table as well as my sales table I can go back to my home tab click on close and apply and now let's go to the model view and you will now be able to create a relationship between the sales table and the publication table using the composite key that we have created and you can see that we've created one to one relationship between these tables and you will now be able to create for example the title edition and bring in the sales volume from the sales table and don't summarize in here and you can see that we've now brought in the edition the sales volume and the title from both of these tables now let us move on to the third method which is by creating a surrogate key now there are reasons why you should be creating a surrogate key instead of a composite key I'm going to explain some of the advantages in a bit but let us see how we can create this surrogate key so to do that let's head over to the sales table in here let's go to the add column and select index column here from one I've now added an index column to my sales table let's go back to our publication table I'm going to go to the home tab click on merge queries and select ISBN and addition the composite keys here I'm going to select both of these from my sales table as well use left outer join and you can see that we have six of six matches as well I'm going to click on OK and now I can expand my sales table and bring in the index column from my sales table into my publication table and you can see that we've, I have now just brought in the index values from my sales table into my publication table let's head over to the model view here and now I will be able to create a relationship between the index column in my sales table and the index column in my publication table simply I can drag and drop here and one to one relationship has been created if I go back to my report view you can see that I now have the data coming in from both of these tables now let me tell you some of the advantages of why you should be creating a surrogate key instead of the composite key now number one it's very simple it's a single column which has a native data type of number and it's easier to create relationships between the numbers the second advantage of the surrogate key is that it is always unique no matter what the index value that we added is always going to be unique and there are no chances that it is going to have any duplicate values in there whereas when you create a composite key there might be chances that they are not unique the third advantage that I can think of is that this particular index column is not nullable meaning that it cannot have null values or blank values in there when you are creating surrogate key another advantage of creating surrogate key is that it is immutable which means that once the key is assigned to a particular row it is never going to change and this surrogate key is always going to be anonymous it does not carry any information in there but when you create a composite key it might carry some of the information 
especially when you have text values, but in this case, it is going to be anonymous. It does not carry any information. And like we saw in our example, we, if you have a larger value which you are trying to create a composite key with, it is going to occupy a lot of space in your database. And if you are dealing with millions of records, this is going to be expensive for you. So to avoid that, you should probably create a surrogate key instead of a composite key. I've also heard instances where using the surrogate key when compared to the composite key has improved the performance of the data model. So these are the different advantages that you have when you use a surrogate key instead of a primary key. So to summarize of what we have learned in this tutorial, we looked at the first method where we learned how to merge queries seamlessly using the composite keys in Power Query. And then we created relationship between the tables using the composite keys. And finally, we looked at how we can create surrogate keys to create relationships between two tables. So let me know in the comment section if you already knew any of these techniques earlier and which is your favorite one. And if you were using composite key, are you going to start using surrogate keys going forward? Let me know in the comment section. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and my tutorials for more insightful content. And as always, if you have questions or suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, happy analyzing.